Now, U.S. President Donald Trump took the podium to highlight the importance of sovereignty in a forceful speech at the United Nations. Covering a wide spectrum of issues, including Iran and China, Trump also touched upon North Korea again, urging the regime to denuclearize. He says such a bold step would allow the North to tap into its tremendous economic potential. Here's Kim hyo Sun. In his third speech to the United Nations as leader of the free world, President Trump said wise world leaders put their own people and countries first. Addressing the General Assembly on Tuesday, Trump delivered a speech focused on sovereignty, but he spoke briefly about North Korea. He called on the regime to denuclearize if it wished to reach its tremendous economic potential. And we have pursued bold diplomacy on the Korean Peninsula. I have told Kim Jong-un what I truly believe, that like Iran, his country is full of tremendous untapped potential, but that to realize that promise, North Korea must denuclearize. Amid high expectations for the resumption of working-level talks between Pyongyang and Washington, President Trump added the North will enjoy a brighter future once it abandons its nuclear weapons. However, the U.S. leader did not provide details on what he suggested last week to be a new method that could provide a breakthrough in the stalled talks. President Trump also urged Washington's allies to pay their fair share for the cost of their defense. We are also revitalizing our alliances by making it very clear that all of our partners are expected to pay their fair share of the tremendous defense burden which the United States has borne in the past. His remark comes as South Korea and the U.S. launched fresh negotiations in Seoul to renew their defense cost-sharing deal. He also said his administration will continue to pressure the Iranian regime, highlighting that the highest level of sanctions have been imposed against Iran following its recent attacks on Saudi Arabian oil facilities. On trade, President Trump lashed out at China for not embracing the reforms it promised to make when it joined the World Trade Organization in 2001. He also demanded Beijing honor Hong Kong's freedom, legal system, and its democratic way of life. Kim Hyo-san, Adidas News.